Welcome back everybody. Today's tutorial is a crack glaze fashion bride. Attach three roses to her left hip with soft consistency icing. We will be using soft consistency icing for most of our bride, except for a couple of areas we'll be using stiff consistency icing. So you're going to want to have both of those icings prepared and ready. As far as the stiff consistency icing goes, you're going to want to have a coupler attached to your bag because you're going to be using two different tips. Be mindful of the amount of pressure that you're putting on your bag as you pipe and that you're releasing or lowering the pressure as necessary and that when you're piping, you're piping in the direction of form. Still using the soft consistency icing, begin attaching the ruching of the dress. Switch to stiff consistency icing with a frill nozzle attached to the coupler. Then pipe the delicate drapery of the dress. Switching back to the soft consistency icing and using heavy pressure, pipe both sides of the bows loops. Now switch back to the stiff consistency icing once again and pipe her hair with a nozzle number one. You want to keep those strands as close together as possible. Change the nozzle to a 56R or a 101S, both are small pedal nozzles, and pipe the headband that is between her bangs and the top of her hair. You want the headband to end right where the curly cascading hair begins. Using a skin tone flesh color, paint an outline of both of her eyes. Continue using that same skin tone color to paint the rest of the skin that is showing.
Now paint the bow and the sash pink. When painting the roses pink, you're going to want to use a brush that you don't care a lot about. The texture of the roses will tear apart your brush. The dress is painted in a light champagne color. Load a flat brush that you don't care a lot about with brown color and begin painting your hair from left to right. Now we need to bring our bride into tonal balance. Finally, we're going to bring her to life by painting the features of her face beginning with her mouth. Side load a brush with green food paste and paint the iris of both eyes, making sure that the top of the iris attaches to the top of the eyelid. Now side load a clean brush with black food paste and paint the pupil. You want the pupil to be about 16th the size of the iris and the pupil needs to attach to the top of the eyelid as well. Thank you for watching me and I will see you in the next tutorial.